So in today's video, we are going to be learning how to get the third quartile of uh, a data set that is grouped based on class. That is, we are going to be learning how to get the third quartile of a grouped data based on class. Uh, so uh, the first step is for us to know the formula that we use to get the third quartile. And uh, the formula is going to be Q3 is going to be equals to LCB. We have subscript Q3. We have a positive sign. Then we have 3 summation f divided by 4 minus the cumulative frequency before the third quartile divided by f q3 then we have time c where lcbq3 represents the lower class boundary at the third quartile the cfbq3 represents uh, the cumulative frequency before the third quarter and fq3 represents the frequency at the third quarter so uh, we can see that from the formula for getting the third quarter we need to have the cumulative frequencies and we also need to have the lower class boundaries so that simply implies that we have to reconstruct our table and then fill in the necessary details so i'm going to take uh, this formula right here and just bring it down here so that we can have enough space to reconstruct our table. So let me quickly reconstruct the table. So the formula says we are going to be needing the lower class boundaries. So we have to create a space for the class boundaries. So we just have the class boundaries right here. And we are also going to be needing the cumulative frequency. So we have uh, the cumulative uh, frequencies is going, to, is going to be right here. So how do we get the class boundaries? All we have to do is to, for each class rather, we are going to be subtracting 0 0.5 from the lower class and add the 0 0.5 to the upper class. So for the first class, 10 to 15. So 10 minus 0 0.5, that is 9.5. And uh, 15 plus 0 0.5, that is 15.5. So for our next class, we have a 16 to 21. So 16 minus uh, 0 0.5, that is 16.5 to 21.5. So the next step is for us to get the cumulative frequency. And the cumulative frequency is simply the sum of the frequency of a variable and frequency before it. So uh, we are going to be starting with 10 to 5. So since we have the frequency to be 8, we are going to be repeating the 8. We just keep the 8 back. So the next score is at 16 to 21 and the frequency at uh, 16 to 21 is 17. So the frequency before 16 to 21 is 8. So that means at 8 plus 17, we have our answer to be equals to 25. So for the third score, which is at 22 to 27, the sum of frequencies or the cumulative frequency will be 8 plus 17 plus 7. And uh, when we do the math, we have that to be equals to 32. So the next frequency is going to be equals to 37. The next, uh, we have that to be 46. And then the next, we have this to be equals to 50. So we have the cumulative frequencies ready. So it's time for us to start solving. So uh, we need to get the third quarter first. It's very important. So uh, the formula for the third quarter is uh, that's 3 submission F divided by 4. And that's going to be 3 times submission F is actually the sum of the frequency. And that's going to be 8 plus 17 plus 7 plus 5 plus 9 plus 4. That gives us 50 divided by 4 so when we do the math uh that's going to be 150 divided by 4 and that is going to be close to 37.5 so that means uh, our third quarter is located in the 37.5th position we can decide to approximate this to 38 and say that our third quarter is in the 38th position it really has no effect on our data set but i prefer to use the value of 37.5 in this uh formula so let's go to our frequency to locate the 37.5 position data so um 8 plus 17 that is 25 25 plus 7 that is 32 32 plus 5 that is 37 37 plus uh, 9 that is going to be equals to 46 so the 37.5 position data is going to be right here so this is the region So we just actually have to use this red marker to just hold this region exactly. So 
now that we've gotten this we can now extract all of our necessary details so um the lower class boundary at the third quarter is uh 33.5 so that means uh, l c b q3 is actually equals to 33.5 uh the cumulative frequency before the third quarter so uh, the cumulative frequency at the third quarter is 46 so the cumulative frequency before the third quarter is going to be equals to 37 so the next is for us to get the frequency at the third quarter so the frequency at the third quarter is going to be um nine exactly so the next is the class interval so the class interval is actually the weight of each of the class so uh 10 to 15 16 to 21 22 to 27 the class interval is a uh, five that is a uh, 15 minus 10 is five 26 minus 16 is 5 27 minus 22 is 5 we have a constant value so this is going to be equals to 5 so having all of these details we can now substitute all of this into the formula so let's take this a bit up so we can see that our q3 is going to be equals to we have a 33.5 plus so this is going to be equals to 37.5 minus so we have this to be 37 divided by 9 times 5 so we have our q3 to be equals to uh 33.5 plus so let's use our calculator right here to work on everything we have in the bracket so that is 37.5 minus 37 divided by 9 and that gives us a uh, 0 0.0556 to for the small place times 5 so we have our q3 to be equals to 33.5 uh, so 0 0.0556 times 5 we have that to be equals to 0 0.2778 so our q3 is going to be equals to 0 0.2778 plus 33.5 and that gives us a uh, 33 0.78 approximated to two decimal place so the value of the third quarter to this data set of ours is actually equals to 33.78 thanks for making it to the end of the video we'll see you in the next one bye for now